Foes up, Lambo does up, Kush when I roll up, yeah, gas when I roll up. I put the game in a hold up, saw the opponent, he rolled up. What is up, everybody? It's Flap back with another video here to react to some more Sonic Frontier stuff. You already know what is going on. Now, last video, I had said it's looking well, 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 um, alpha-like, like it was unfinished, and it made me worry about the game because it made me think that if this is what was what they were presenting and thought it was okay to present it this way what else would they be showing and presenting that we may not enjoy but they're starting to turn it around you know i'm starting to kind of come back around i'm still waiting to see what else they got to show but for right now they're answering our questions sonic frontiers cyberspace and more let's find out what's going on here guys let's get right into it every time i do this i have to change my freaking sounds all right here we go. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Mitchell Saltzman here with our very last feature for. What's up, Mitchell? It's good to see you again. Years, and this one's gonna be a little looser, a little more casual. All right. Uh, I've played. I'm cool with that. Hours of Sonic Frontiers at this point, and now that all the. All right. So are... since this video is longer, I'm definitely gonna be. I'm gonna be pausing to address things just because I I need to be able to do this. I have to go to work later, so yeah, it's a one take. And I'm able to talk about everything unrestricted. I wanted to answer some questions based on the four hours I played. Okay. So let's hit that title card and we'll jump right into it. All right. Come on, Mitchell. Show me, show me, show me, show me what we got. Before we start proper though, I've got to give a bit of a fair warning. Uh, it's been more than a month since I had my last play session with Sonic Frontier. Okay. I last played it in the middle of May, if you can believe it. So it's going off of what is no May. doubt older build, but I'm also going off of memories that are a little bit dated. So okay. just understand that- Grain of salt, grain of salt. My memory of well, smaller details might not be 100%. So, you know, like just keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, I got right, you. So, let's begin with probably the most commonly asked questions. Uh, I'm gonna just group a bunch of these together and let's talk about cyberspace. What I think I'm gonna do is talk about this generally first before addressing specific questions about cyberspace. Uh, I got to play four levels. Okay. Uh, you see two of them in that Nintendo Direct trailer. One of them is modeled after Green Hill Zone, and that's actually the very first thing that you get to play when you jump into Sonic Frontiers. Okay. Like opening cutscene, and then you get thrown into Cyber World, and you do that uh, Green Hill Zone, basically. Um, the second one is the Highway Zone that you see, which is probably, like, my, my favorite one. Yeah, it, it looks so that sick. It's just awesome. Uh, there was one that was modeled after Chemical Plant Zone, and then there was one that was kind of like a Sky Temple. I don't really remember if it was based off of any... Man, the game's Sonic starting to... Item. It really is I, starting to look more... More polished. Older. So to answer the question from it was looking real rough before about the length of the cyberspace levels to me they felt a bit short and I, I say that because I I believe I beat most if not all of them within two minutes even on like my first try and you know usually these 3D Sonic levels they focus on on different beats you go from a a really fast boost section to a 2D section and then back to a 3D section. Whereas the, the levels in Sonic Frontiers felt pretty focused on one or two things. You would start off, it would be a boost focus section, then you'd go onto a rail, and then you'd go onto like a, you know, a little platforming bit until you're back into a boost section, and then you'd get to the end of the level. Um, so they, they felt shorter, but I don't really mean that in a negative way. I think they were actually just long enough where I wanted to keep on retrying them so I can get those those goals. I mentioned this also in my preview. Every level has five goals, and every time you achieve a goal, you get a uh, a vault key, which allows you to unlock the Chaos Emeralds. So, <laughs> I played four hours of Sonic Frontiers, but honestly, most of that time was kind of spent in cyberspace because I'm I'm the kind of person when I play a Sonic game where I wanna I wanna strive for those S ranks. I wanna strive for getting those goals. Right. So I, I would keep on retrying until I get like like, like you know, we all want to in a Sonic that. game. To me, that's the most fun I have when I play a Sonic game. Yeah. It's that feeling of mastering a level. Yo. Getting through it without slowing down. Hold up. So really Hold up. Did you? 
I didn't even. To kind of get that. That was cool. That was actually really cool. You know the the level down pad to me that's the most fun I have when I play a Sonic. Wow, wow! I like, I like that. I like that a lot. It without slowing down. Um, so I, I like that a lot. Strove to to kind of get that experience every time I played one of these Cyber Space, space levels. So for me, I actually kind of like the shorter length, especially when consider the fact that it's not the full game. The cyberspace is not the whole game. It right. is this mix of the open zone exploration, everything that you can do there, along with these these cyberspace levels. So so yeah, in short, uh, the levels are short, but I also don't think it's a huge problem. And then as for the second part of this question, are they closer to those of Unleashed Generations or Forces? Uh, you know, I guess it's it's more similar to Unleashed and Generations because of the fact that there's no there's no wisps. <laughs> there's no wisps. Wisps is still a very hard word for me to say. It's just kind of purely focused on that modern boost. As for the 2D sections, actually, uh, I didn't get to play it, but my colleague Jeffrey Vega, who played about two hours of the game, he went a different way in the open zone and ended up finding a cyberspace level that I didn't find. And he said that it was entirely 2D focused. So I think they, you know, they're going to mix it up a good amount with the, the cyberspace levels in this game. Another thing that a lot of people really wanted to know about is momentum. And I feel a little bad about this one because mm. I honestly didn't really think about it. Uh, mm. Sonic's control felt fine to me. He doesn't least, really have an answer. It wasn't noticeably different from other boost centric sonic games especially in the cyberspace levels right it's true that it doesn't really matter what speed sonic hits a rail at he'll still grind it all the same but i also don't necessarily think that's it's, a bad it, thing. yeah it's not now there were definitely some weird moments like i mentioned in the preview where i was fighting the osura boss and i would run up the arm and despite feeling like i should have enough momentum to reach the head i would kind of just fly upwards and not have enough forward momentum to lock Why onto the head and I'm just kind of, you know, fall back now. onto the ground. But to me, that felt more like an issue with the boss itself rather than This is the same gameplay we saw, momentum. right? So yeah, I wish I had a better answer for you than, you know, the momentum didn't really bother me all that much. Or, you know, it feels very similar to other 3D boost-centric Sonic games. But, you know, that's kind of where I'm at with momentum right now. Those were the two big ones that kept coming up, so I kind of wanted to group them all together. But now let's look at some more targeted questions. Okay. Lone Speedster DX asked, How does the combat work in Frontiers? The starting combo seems to be that punch and kick string, but how do any of the special attacks work? So the way it works is that when you hom homing attack onto something, you'll do the, the little punch kick combo, and then on the last hit, you'll kind of kick yourself away and you'll come back down to the ground. There are a couple of upgrades that you can get in the skill tree that add some sort of new attack to the end of that string. So that's where you see like this move and then this move, I think. And this is one of those things where like, don't quote me on this because again, mm. I played this a month and a half ago. But I think that there is a combo counter. I think you get rewarded with like a certain kind of power up mode. Yo, if that's the way. It's without getting hit. Bro, if that's the way this game works, this is actually everything I said about this off initial release. I take it back. If this is really how this game is going to work, everything off initial release, I take it back. I take it back. This is looking really, really good. I don't know why they decided to show the gameplay like that. If this is what it was going to be. It's a reward for being careful. Um, wow. With regards to you know, knowing when to lay off your attack. and when You know what? Sega was right. They, they tweeted out something. Or the Sonic team, whatever. They were basically saying, like, I don't think that Sonic fans are going to understand what we're trying to do with this game. And now that we're seeing stuff like this. You know, I I think they'll understand it. I just think that the way the way they communicated that understanding was very poor <laughs> and caused the fans and the company to be at odds with each other. So when the opponent is I think things are starting to come back now. Use a dodge to get out of the way. Dodges are on the L1 and R1 buttons, so you can just quickly get out of the way if something's about to attack you. You can use parries, you can lock on. Uh, another one of the abilities that you can get is lock that kick on. attack. You can see right here where you kick a bunch of sound waves and it looks really awesome. Um, that's generally how combat works. It's not, you know, it's not, this isn't Devil May Cry. Right. <laughs> the real test for the combat of this game will be enemy variety. Um, you know, okay. there were a, a, a handful of enemies that all were a bit different and I had to fight them a little bit differently in order to defeat them. 
but it's really going to be a matter of if they can keep on introducing new enemy types that keep having new and interesting ways to deal with them. And uh, I think that's going to be the real test of whether combat is going to be exciting in the open world. I mean, excuse me, open zone. What does collecting those little rock guys do? Asked Vincent underscore mate. So collecting those little rock guys, it's kind of like Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild, where like you solve a really simple puzzle, you find a Korok seed, you do the kind of the same thing in Sonic Frontiers. And what they do is that somewhere in on the island is like this elder weird. rock guy. And if you get enough little rock guys, I, I, I wish I could remember the name for them right now. I, I'm sorry, again, a month and a half ago. Um, if you get enough of those little rock guys and you, and you bring them back to the elder, he will either upgrade your speed or upgrade your maximum rings that you can carry. Hmm, and that was an like, interesting well, thing that just happened right why there. Why I would want to upgrade my speed, obviously, but why would I want to upgrade my maximum rings? Um, when you get hit in Sonic Frontiers, you don't just drop all your rings. You drop 40 rings. It's a set amount every time. Um, and if you're able to collect 400 rings, I believe the cutoff is 400 rings, you're able to activate this, like, super blue boost that, like, you know, envelops Sonic in, like, this awesome blue aura. He's able to go even faster on his boosts, and he just... Like, he like Super Sonic. Fast. If you thought that Sonic Frontiers isn't fast enough, just... Trust me, it's once no, you get this I, boost, I trust you. He moves plenty fast, and I wish I had footage of it because it was one of the cooler things that I got to experience in my playtime. Sonic Rich says, in your first four hours playing Frontiers, were you given the freedom to explore the first Starfall Island from the get-go, or were there points where you strictly had to follow the story path? No, you're pretty much able to go wherever you want when you first land on Starfall Island. Hmm. Um, okay. Obviously. There is a main quest that you are constantly reminded of, um, but you know you're able to just go off in a direction. There's a bunch of the puzzles music to is starting to you hit more map. too. The map will will tell you where Chaos Emeralds are. You'll be able to find more puzzles to open up more of the map. So there's actually a lot to do in the open zone. There's a bunch of collectibles to find. The aforementioned. Uh, rock guys that you can you can grab uh, it doesn't really funnel you towards a, a certain path you're kind of free to take on that critical path whenever you want okay all right lightning round time let's do a bunch of them really quick was there any form of spin dash or rolling albeit in his base moveset or the skill tree no but there is a drop dash was the light speed there's dash a drop dash oh, okay yes. is there a chow garden or at least chow in the game I can't speak for the whole game but in the four hours that I played not a single chow was seen from hmm. what I played how was the music it was good. One of the first things that me and Jeffrey talked about when we got out of our demo was how much we enjoyed the music. So it's not, you know, it's not Crush 40, but it's very fitting. And, uh, you know, it sounds nice in my ears. All right. Well, that is going to do right. it for me. And that is good. That seems about everything. That seems to be about everything. Uh, all that information right there. It is very, uh, is very relieving it's very relieving to hear it it's very relieving to hear that all the concerns that we had is not there anymore honestly like until we touch the game we have to hold our judgment now i mean again sega sonic team whatever you want to say they they jumped the gun with releasing gameplay for whatever reason like that but you know they, they've been making their waves back They've been making their ways back, showing, expanding upon the things that they've shown that maybe we wouldn't have been able to understand. So, I, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited now. I remember, I remember saying like, I don't think I'm gonna make content on it. Uh, I'm gonna have to take that back. I'm gonna have to take that back. This, this is looking solid. This, that's tear flat. And I'm out.